to do battle against Yakuza and Distroker Jr. Tag team action to start things off here tonight. Lots of legends to be showcased on this huge star-studded live event. This tag team match can main event any event, but it is the opener to start things off at Omega Lucha tonight. Rudos represented by Yakuza, the master, the teacher, the legend of Lucha Libre, as well as his tag team partner, one of the enforcers of the Rudos and Midwest Pro Wrestling and Lucha Libre, Disco Oker Jr. to do battle against the fighter from the future, Bangalore Del Futuro, and the crazy, chaotic, high flyer, Super Cows. So we're going to get things squared away. Our official uh, Benitas enforces the rules. Lucha Libre rules in effect throughout all the matches tonight. One member of each team is legal at any given time in the ring. Tags do not necessarily have to take place for a switch to take place in the ring. As long as one body leaves the ring, another can legally enter. As Yakuza scores the advantage with his power on the smaller Super Kyles to start things off. A huge massive crowd watching on as everyone else for opening action. This match, it took a long time to get it to the ring, but now it's underway and the fans can't wait to see all the crazy action tonight. Yakuza with an over-the-top hammer lock on Super Cows, trying to slow down the speedy smaller man. Nice car wheel, actually a somersault upside down, eventually dragging Yakuza down, and Yakuza counters. These two can move for move with one another. As a matter of fact, last night in Milwaukee, Super Cows scored a controversial victory as Yakuza hits a jawbreaker that stuns Super Cows right there. Gonna take the cause on the camera side. You can't see them making noise, but they are not happy with the fact that Yakuza scored the advantage under question of the circumstances. But I think that that was totally legal when Yakuza executed moments ago. First sequence belonged to Yakuza. Not a surprise. He likes to start off quick. Very, very tough. Is Yakuza. Strong style, striking, martial arts background, Lucha Libre training throughout Mexico and the United States. He's training future stars of the ring. He spent countless hours training some of the future stars of Lucha Libre, including those that we're going to see here in this one. Nice counter, trying to go for a crucifix pin. Yakuza rolled out of it. Move for move. Super Cows has proven himself, but he is more of a high flyer and likes to take risks in the ring. Quick slinging, takedown, holds on to that right arm and wrist. Will Yakuza give up in the early going? Nope, found in a counter and an escape. And Super Cows continues to try to focus on a limb. Nice arm drag by Yakuza, and Yakuza again. Almost feeling it untouchable here at Omega Lucha Mania 3. Super Carlos has a lot of heart and determination. He's not going to go down without a fight. And has been proven in the past. Car elbow tie up. This time the go behind on a waist lock by Super Carlos. Nice counter by Yakuza. Reversing the grip. Yakuza fell backwards for a moment. That gave Super Carlos an opportunity. And look at that. That's just how nimble and quick Super Carlos is. Yakuza lured him into a trap, drag him down again. Whether you go after a head or a limb or a leg, it just shows what you're capable of. Super Cows did not take flight right there. Yakuza keeping his distance away from the ropes. switch for both teams. We have a new matchup. This Joker Jr. versus Bangalore Del Futuro and Bangalore Del Futuro won in Milwaukee last night. And he hopes to continue his momentum here this evening. Well that was disrespectful. This Joker Jr. trying to ruin somebody's day by snatching away that t-shirt. One of our female fans is 
was more than happy to take away Bangalore's t-shirt as a souvenir. Collar and elbow tie up briefly. This Joker Jr. going for the collarbone. Reached around his neck. And a nice combo as he grabbed a hold of that arm and dragged down Bangalore. Two count only Sazella up and Ita is our official tonight. Going for the leg instead. Bangalore, the fighter from the future. One of this generation's newest and most impressive high-flying stars. He can take over a match very quickly, and in a split second, he can make things really exciting for the technicals in this one. This Joker Jr. needs to use his striking in order to neutralize Vangador. Going for an arm bar, but got countered. Rolled up from behind. Vangador's in trouble. S snuck out of it. Too early to go for something like that in the early going. Pinning combos by both individuals. No one was able to hold the shoulders down. Quick tripping takedown. This Joker Jr. Both individuals trying to trip one another down, and the arm drag puts Vangalore in a dangerous position. Oh, he nipped up, got out of the ring, goes this Joker Jr. And a beautiful nip up by Vangalore. The crowd is liking this action so far. The technicals are putting on a heck of a display here. The rules don't have the speed to hang with Vangalore and Super Cows, who are very energized tonight and very motivated to win, considering they're in front of this great crowd. Darn near a thousand people watching on live as they anticipate so many of the great legends of Lucha Libre to be on display later this evening. Well, this is a display of some of the upcoming top future luchadors and those from Mexico that have already been on display. Nice head scissors executed by Bangalore, but he straddled himself in the middle rope, and Yakuza just slingshot him backwards. Yakuza switches positions with Bangalore. Tilt to roll attempt, but a nice counter. The arm drag. Bangalore, he's getting ready to fly. Oh my! Doubles Yakuza on the outside. Upside down head scissors by Super Cows to this Joker. Sunset foot Bob! He's gonna go for it! Nice counter! He twisted his body! What improvisation! He did it! He scored the pitfall! I believe the technicals won it! Very impressive! By Super Cows and Mangalore! The feeling out process was... And on the Rudos, as soon as the body started to fly, it didn't seem to work out for him. And now the Rudos are trying to regroup. The first ball goes to the technicals, and they've got the lead as we await the beginning of the second fall in this two out of three falls struggle.
begins. And once again, Yakuza to test the skills against Super Cows. Or vice versa. This Joker Jr. Disappointed with the fact that the official didn't see that part of his body might have been trapped under the bottom rope to potentially force a rope break. Well, that is not necessarily the case. I don't know if the fans want to see a second fall if they want to see these two kiss one another. Yakuza on the run. Card flips out of the attempt at a drop down. Nice arm drag right there. Both men collide. Yakuza off the ropes. Nope. Instead, r ricochets backwards. The body of Super Cows across the ring with that arm drag. Nice springboard cross body block. Didn't hold down Super Cows long enough to force a pinning predicament. Big kick to the abdomen. That slows down Super Cows. Huge clothesline at Super Cows. Got sent trampling over the top rope to the outside. The fans are displeased, but Yakuza overpowered Super Cows. And you're talking about domination. You're talking about proving who the master is and who the leaders are of this match. You, got, you don't have to look much further than Yakuza for that. Upkick by Distroker Jr. stuns Super Cows for a moment. As Super Cows seats the corner pretty hard. Distroker Jr. runs in, hits a clothesline. Super Cows crouching down in pain. Now, the referee's not doing his job. These Rudos can't be in the ring two on one like this. Drop kick to the inside thigh. As long as the Rudos are in there two on one, Super Cows doesn't stand a chance. And this referee's holding back Vangador. Now all four men are in the ring. This second fall's gone out of hand. Dish Joker Jr. blatantly blasted Vangador into the top turnbuckle pad on the near side. see somebody on Master Wood. High vertical suplex. Yakuza with a huge high impact drop. Super Kaos is in trouble. Bangalore is down. It's Super Kaos against two men. How can he handle this pressure being against two at once? Double team back body drop. Kaos is down again. Bangalore swings, misses wildly. Distroker Jr. goes for the abdomen. Crushing right-handed hook by Distroker Jr. to Bangalore. The high flyers can't do much right now. They're being physically tortured. Hunting kick to the hamstring. Was that a low blow? Is that a disqualification or not? Apenita says no. Plunging drop by Distoker Jr. to Vangalore. Flying senton backsplash from the outside to the inside of the ring. A flipping maneuver executed by Distroker Jr. to Vangalore. Yakuza crushing Super Kaos' head with his knees as Distroker Jr. drop kicks Vangalore down to the floor. to stop this. This is getting too... This has gone too far. How much more can these two guys take? Now Super Kaos is being hung upside down. He is trapped. He has nowhere to go. He can't do anything. Double drop kick in the corner. Super Kaos is toast. He even got dropped on his head. Come on. Enough's enough. Stop this. Northern Light Suplex with a break. You can count to 100. This has got to be it. There's the three count. Did he beat the captain? Is this the end of the fall? He waved his arms. I believe the Rudos have won the second fall. Not necessarily.
necessarily. We gotta beat out Vangador as well. Come on. He just plunged him right on his head. He's gonna try to make him tap. No, he's he switches to twisting his body around. Uh-oh, he's going for that submission. What the heck is he doing to his head? They're both gonna hold him down. Fingerlord didn't stand a chance. There's bodies everywhere. What's going on here? The second fall should be over by now. The heck? Oh dear, not again. Morinos won the second fall for sure. look like they've been put through a lot of bad things right there. How on earth are these technicals going to survive the third fall if they've been beaten down so badly like this? And if they're playing Mission Impossible, they might be right. I don't think they're going to get on. Devastating attacks by Discoker Jr. and Yakuza. Discoker Jr. with that power bomb at the end didn't do any favors for Vangador and his back and his neck. Well, what is left of the good guys after that? That's the question. It is tied one to one. Two out of three falls situation. The Rudos now have stolen all the momentum though. scored victories in singles action, but this is a tag team war. Signing fall, the Rudos not in a hurry to get back in the ring. I think the Rudos were celebrating a little bit too much. Too overjoyed, and maybe that premature celebration is gonna haunt them. Vangalore's had enough. We didn't see this joker from behind slap him in the back. Yakuza. Down goes this Joker Jr. Where are we going? The Rudos collide into each other. Watch this. Beautiful. Assisted Rana. With Bangalore. Up in the air. On the Yakuza. Down goes this Joker to the outside. The Technicals are fighting back. And now they're fighting with a lot of furiousness and a lot of anger. The two-on-one attacks were too much earlier in this second fall, just moments ago. Super Kyle's trips up this Joker Jr. for a moment. Sideways, cartwheels. Yakuza enters the ring illegally. Oh, that didn't work. It backfired. This Joker Jr. Super Cows. Drop kicks one, drags down the other. I think it's time to take flight. Who's going where? Bangalore on a this Joker Jr. Super Cows on the Yakuza on the outside. Oh! 
try to win the match as quickly as possible. It might be a mistake. They celebrated too early and allowed the Rules back to their feet. So how much damage was taken out of Yakuza and Deuce Joker Jr. right there? Single leg takedown by Super Cows. What a handstand. Nipping back up to his feet. Impressive. Inside out. Nice wrist lock takeover. Yakuza attempts the back body drop, but this time Super Cows bounces off the rope and drags down Yakuza very nicely. Top turnbuckle pad. The movement by Yakuza sent Super Cows in the wrong direction where he didn't want to be in. That's the wrong corner. What the heck was that? Yakuza versus Super Kyle's backwards as he got to his feet somehow, some way out of magic. Dropkick, Yakuza takes the fall on the outside. The technical should try to gang up on Distro for Junior, in my opinion. This Joker Jr. by himself against Super Cows. Hold on to the top rope. Sits down on it. That is a pinning attempt. Super Cows crowned this Joker Jr. with his right boot to avoid suffering his demise. Bangalore enters the ring. That is a legal switch. Super Cows did leave the inside of the ring between the ropes, over the top of the ropes. Diving Rana by Super Cows. That was this Joker to the outside. Bangalore, springboard, DDT, that could be it. What the heck, he can't do that. What, no, that's not fair. No, oh, Super Kyle's makes the save. Lots well, of back and forth action in the third fall. Both teams had a chance to win it. Going for that suplex again. It didn't work earlier, will it work now? Apedizas very slow to count, and the officials count's been stopped by Yakuza. That's a disqualification, come on. This Rudo ref needs to be reprimanded. That's not right. Super Kyle's in trouble here. Yakuza going for the submission. Oh, he's all tied up. Nowhere to go. Too far away from the ropes. Bangalore on the run. Forces the break of the hold. Yakuza remains on his feet. And now the Rudos in tandem going to try to work over Vangador. This referee's lost total control. All four are in the ring. And it's totally up to his discretion who the legal participants are at this point. Opposite corners. The Rudos at the clothesline. The fans are jeering about that. They don't like it. Around and about. Watch this. Two victory rolls. Will we see it? No. This Joker drops down Vingador on his face. Super Kyle's suffers the electric chair. The Rudos are going for the submissions here. Will the technicals tap? The pinfall went down on Super Kyle's. He has waved it off. Vingador gives up. The Rudos win. Man, it's like a crime scene around here. This isn't fair. They should not have been allowed to win that match. Don't cross Yakuza and Stoker Jr. or you will suffer your demise. Give credit to Super Kyle's and Bangalore. They put up a great fight in the second fall. They almost won with two victory rolls, but this Joker Jr. and Yakuza were ready. And now the celebration is on as Rudo fans crowd around Yakuza and this Joker Jr. after that one. Super Kyle's limping all over the place, but the technicals gave it a heck of a try. And an impressive showing for them tonight. Technicals 
us are taking pictures as well. We got all of our action fans. Stick around, Lord. We'll make a Lucha Libre in a moment. 